traders, this is a very important video because we are going to cover how you know what type of data you have access to, but more importantly, how to buy new data. Now, in this very example, we have S&P 500 E-mini futures. And one of the th first things you're going to notice here is that we can see the market is open based off of this green light, but we can also see that the data we have currently is delayed. It literally says data is delayed when we hover our mouse over this. If we click this as well, we're going to learn more information. Now, if you're a free user of TradingView or someone who hasn't bought a data package yet, you might run into this from time to time, depending on the symbol you're looking at and the plan you have. To upgrade, to get the data you need to have a real-time data, the best data flow, direct access to specific sources, you're going to want to read this text here. As you can see, it actually says to get real-time data for the Chicago Mercantile Exchange Globex, please buy the real-time data package. Now, when you're ready, you can click learn more. Now, we're going to head over to our data page. Of course, you will need a TradingView, a TradingView account to make it to this page because when you buy data, you have to make sure that you are signing an agreement with the necessary exchange. Now, we are going to switch charts here. Now, a dark mode chart. We are logged into the TradingView account. And the first thing you should pay attention to here is look at the green light. It says market open. We don't see that it's delayed either. In fact, this market has a direct connection to the source. We are watching a, let's go down to a one minute chart. How about that? We are watching a one minute chart right now of S&P 500 E-mini futures. We can see the lights on, we're connected, all is good. This is ultimately what you want to get to. And there are a few key things for you to know about getting there. Now, you noticed on the previous page, if we click learn more and then sign in, it's important to know that we have a data coverage page on TradingView. This is tradingview.com slash data dash coverage. We'll put a link in the YouTube description below. You'll also find this all across our platform and in our help center. When you get to this page, one of the first things you're going to want to do is scroll down. Also, a really awesome thing to note is that if you hover your mouse over these specific blue dots here, you are going to see the data sources that you have access to as a member of TradingView. And as this globe spins, what you'll quickly realize is you have access to data from all over the world. So as this globe spins, you'll be able to see these blue dots and you know that's a data source you can access. So. With that in mind, scroll down, and now it is essentially like walking into a buffet or a candy shop. It is up to you to find and pick the data that you want to directly access. What's even better is you have these features here to ensure that you are filtering by the specific data source you want. Depending on, on where you are in the world or what type of data you want to access, you can quite literally select a country. You could even use the search button as well to search by a specific source name. By default, you'll notice we've got popular selected and you're probably going to see some names that you're familiar with. That's the New York Stock Exchange. That's right. If we buy New York Stock Exchange data, we will get a direct connection to the New York Stock Exchange. It will be connected to our TradingView account and we'll have real-time data straight from the source. One thing to pay close attention to, by the way, is the real-time data for non-professional plans and the real-time data for professional plans. Now, we have a lot of Help Center documentation about this, so be sure to go read the fine details. But here's the key thing to know. If you're a retail investor or trader, you do this as a hobby, it's on the side, it's something you're interested in, you do get access to these non-professional fees. And look at that. You can see right here, $3, $3. The fees are quite competitive. Of course, if you're a professional, maybe you're a money manager, you're doing this for professional work, you can see that the fees are a little bit higher. And that's simply because of exchange regulations and what exchanges ask for. So keep that in mind as you do search for the different data sources that you want, is to understand whether you're a non-professional or a professional. And as we mentioned, that data is in our help center. We've got a blog post about it and much more. Now, you can continue to see some of our filters here, stocks and indices. 
over 106 stocks and indices. Just by clicking this button here and scrolling down, you can have a pretty interesting time scrolling down and down to see all the different markets that are on this planet that are open and that are ready for you to tap into right now no matter where you are in the world. And this is a whole new way for you to track different data sources and exciting equity movements that are occurring on a daily basis. So when you're ready, make sure you head to this page, select the data sources that you want to access, and begin shopping. And then you can really get started by having this data on your plan. Now, there are a few more key things here, and that is that as you scroll down on this page, you're going to want to know about some of these bundled packages. This is a fantastic feature for you to save and get better deals. For example, the US Stock Markets Bundle, you get five sources for one package, $9.95. You're going to get all these key American markets between OTC, NYSE, NASDAQ, and more. Or perhaps you trade futures, four exchanges, one package, $7. You're going to get all of these key exchanges. So be sure, be absolutely sure to scroll down so that you do not miss these deals because you can obviously get a bundle and you're going to be able to get more data for less of a price. And if you're looking to learn more about our data and what's offered, you can see here, just keep scrolling down the page and you will learn all about the type of data that we are bringing to you as a member of TradingView. And when you're ready, make sure to select the subscribe to real time markets. And this is your checkout page. Pay close attention to the price, pay close attention whether you want to be billed monthly or annually. And of course, pay close attention to the specific boxes you're checking as that will de de determine the data that you're adding to your plan. So by now you probably have a good understanding of how this works. And if you want this level of real time data, if you want to watch S&P 500 E-mini futures like we are on a one minute chart, watching the price action right here with no delayed data, you're going to need to follow these instructions. And what's pretty important to keep in mind is you need a TradingView account. By the way, you should have a paid plan as well, especially for some of these robust data packages. And then, of course, you're going to want to go shopping in your in, in our data package center and select the data that you need. One more quick thing. If you want to review different things about the, the plan you have or the data you have access to, be sure to head to your profile page. And if you click the drop down here, see that's trading view, and go to account and billing or profile settings, and you can see here settings and then account and billing whoops settings and then account and billing you're going to be able to get the details about your specific plans so as you can see these are all of the plans that currently we have access to from our trading view account and as you scroll down we quite literally have access to markets from all over the world we can track these follow these we can make sure that we can confirm these subscriptions as well and you can do the same thing when you are ready as well and of course if you need to change your plan or make any changes to your plan along the way be sure to go ahead and do that as well so this video was designed to welcome you to our data coverage website as well as well as all of the data that you have access to and of course a very simple walkthrough on how you can add data to your chart thanks for watching